Let's get a check on our forecast with meteorologist Pete Malone. Well, good morning. It is October the 1st here, and just a reminder, October is still hurricane season, and while we don't have any significant threats to our area, we are watching for tropical rains in the forecast, specifically starting Thursday, lasting into Friday, and then maybe even some of those showers still around this weekend. But uh, I want you to know that the weekend forecast is a bit trickier. Thursday and Friday seems fairly straightforward, but the weekend still a bit up in the air. I'll explain why in just a second. All right, here's our tropical disturbance. There's not much to it right now. It's a large area of disturbed weather. There's some upper level lows embedded in here. There's a weak tropical wave right here, so there's a lot going on. But generally, the theme is that this disturbed weather will be in the Gulf of Mexico through the end of the week into the weekend and early next week, and it's got about a 40% chance of becoming a tropical depression. That's simple. We don't think this is going to be a slam dunk. It doesn't look like a hurricane trying to form here, but some disturbed weather certainly could become a depression. Now, first of all, Thursday is when we start to see a few showers. We may see some weak low pressure off of our coast. Now, the movement with all this isn't going to be anything quick. So you're going to have multiple days of showers and storms just sitting around the Gulf. Low pressure is going to start to form over those warm waters. Now, once we get into the weekend here, both of our GFS and European models are showing a similar setup in that we start to see a well-defined center of our low pressure. It's probably going to be unorganized. And then you can see there, that's a mess. And so whenever you see a model that looks like this, this is not a well-defined circulation. This is not a hurricane. This is a weak low pressure that is producing rain across the Gulf of Mexico. Now, where the center of that low pressure tries to form or consolidate will determine where the heaviest of the rain is. So that's the trickiest part this weekend. If that low's coming together to our east, maybe we're dry. If it's closer to us, maybe we see more rainfall. And that's a very hard thing to forecast where an unorganized area of showers and storms is going to be most concentrated. Now, the steering currents with all this are very weak. We're not going to see any significant movement. That's why there's multiple days of that low pressure just hanging around over the Gulf waters. It's under a ridge of high pressure for the most part. Now, there will be wind shear and there's going to be some dry air, so that should keep things weak, but it's not going to be in a hurry to really move around all the way through early next week. So that's what we're going to be watching here locally. May probably, probably a weak unorganized system producing some rain. Now elsewhere it is busy. We've got the remnants of Joyce. We've got Kirk and we've got Invest 91. Kirk is expected to become a major hurricane in the next few days and lift out to sea. So that's great news with Kirk. This feature behind Kirk is likely going to be Leslie and this system is going to maybe be something to watch for the Caribbean islands, but most guidance suggest it will eventually curve out. We'll see. It's way too early to speculate, but not concerned with that in the Gulf of Mexico right now. So our seven day, yes, we're watching the tropics, but my concern level is very, very low. This is not a repeat of Helene. No guidance suggests this is going to be a significant storm. The wind shear looks to pick up late this weekend, but it wouldn't be shocking to see at least maybe a weak depression or a weak storm form at some point through the end of the week and into the weekend, and that will heavily impact our forecast. So no, there will probably still be some changes in the forecast, but right now concern level on the low side. Our marine forecast, smooth sailing today, but winds do get a little breezier tomorrow and through the end of the week with that disturbed weather in the Gulf. It will be a bit breezier at times. Your high tide is happening in the middle of the afternoon and your low tide is this evening.